what's going on everybody z here welcome back to some more satisfactory now we are still awaiting an update but i'm super excited to be back playing hopefully you guys are too hopefully you enjoyed the last episode as well we kind of did this we got some things started we got uh we got some smelting we got some you know construction some basic things done in the last episode we got some hub upgrades and whatnots but we are going to start off by upgrading our hub once again absolutely give me that auto miner i need it new buildings player new base upgraded what do we got do we have do we have a storage deal additional biomass hmm. generator oh additional biomass generator <gasps> which can be found in the build menu. yeah look at that we got another one uh let's actually get this guy connected to right here so what do we have we have auto miner mark one okay oh wow we, we already have everything we need <gasps> that's fantastic okay so let's grab this guy grab and then let's just pick this guy no i want to pick you up press e to uh no pick i want to pick it up i open stop stop it stop no i want to i want to i want to pick it up oh wait uh deconstruction right oh pick up mine oh my god <laughs> oh geez i'm losing my mind all right so let's get our first miner put on here okay we're gonna rotate it around this way we're gonna try to keep things a little bit uh a little bit clean and organized here oh i gotta take this out first but we're gonna throw another one on this guy but we gotta get this guy removed first this gigantic rock in the way all right one rock busted absolutely busted i gotta get used to the keys again <laughs> okay so we have one facing this way we might as well have this one facing that way because we can go straight into there any hoozles <gasps> oh i'm so excited all right so we're gonna we're gonna need another power pole over here somewhere so we'll throw one there and we'll just throw one there why not absolutely that works okay do i have any cables oh i don't have any cables oh <gasps> that's not gonna work we need cables all right cable time so this guy's already full but we can take this one from there there grab you and then grab you perfect so these power poles can only hold four separate lines. So you can see there's four lines coming out of it. Now there is an upgraded power pole that holds more. So that, you know, it's a thing. It happens. Uh, these guys should be spinning up. Oh, they are. Look at that. Auto mining their little hearts out. Oh, bless their hearts. They're auto mining. <sighs> All right. So uh, we're going to get these placed kind of like this. So we're going to put one here. And we're going to go shoot straight into there. And we're going to take that one over there. Can't afford. I don't have enough plates. Well, guess what? We can fix that and we unlock some storage so we should be able to store some things grab that wonderful oh my gosh guys this is this is just absolutely marvelous now anyways if you guys are curious you want to check out the game if you haven't already it is on epic game store links down below you know use the creator code z1 gaming at checkout shoots a little bit back to me i do appreciate all of the awesome support and a special shout out to all the patreons as well my gosh you guys are absolutely amazing helping me do what i do uh, okay, so we have these guys going. Now, power is probably an issue. Uh, it's not yet, but it's going to be. And do I have any more? I do have some to throw in there. Okay, so that'll help. How much is this guy? It still has enough, so that's that's not terrible. We have power. We have things. We have automation. We have, like, full-on automation. These will never run out. This will never stop until it gets full. And with the fullness, we need some... I think it's logistics, right? No. Where's... Where's the uh, organization? <gasps> yes, the storage containers. We need some storage deals. So what we're going to do, since we have all of this basic stuff now, like we have all of the tools to automate all of the beginning things. We are going to focus on doing that. Uh, we'll probably do a little bit of upgrading and stuff as well, but we're going to focus on getting things upgraded and or not getting things upgraded, getting things automated, like fully automated. Okay, staff to the grid. So we'll put one there. And then we'll go ahead and snap to the grid. I want it. It's got to be. It's got to be even. You know what? These are all going to be re rebuilt anyways. And you, you know you want it. No. Oh, wait, it's fine. <laughs> Darn it. <gasps> so then we can throw this guy right into there. This guy right into there. That will literally run until we don't have power, which is great. But we have other things that we need to make. So we have plates being made. <gasps> wonderful. We have rods being made. Absolutely wonderful. But we have some copper stuff we can make. We have some limestone stuff we can make. We, we do have to be kind of careful with the power situation. Ooh, you know, I should have put a storage container in here because this is where logistics start coming in. So quick little rundown. Basically, you have the you have the gist of the game. You can automatically collect stuff. You run it to a tether or to a tether. My gosh, this is not Ashton here. You run it through a conveyor into a smelter. The smelter smelts it. It runs it into another machine that does whatever it's doing. But all of these have rates 
so they have a rate at which they collect the resource so this is collecting 60 per minute that's fantastic now this guy over here requires is only doing 30 per minute so i think this guy's gonna get backed up which it is it's gonna get backed up because it's only doing 30 it's doing half of that so if we want this to run efficiently i could actually run one mine to two separate uh smelters but we don't have a we don't have a conveyor splitter or conveyor merger we don't have any of, the, any of that stuff yet that's something to keep in mind and as you can see this is outputting 30 per minute but this guy over here is making 15 per minute so now it's half of that so in theory this one could run two of these making this specific item whereas this one over here this one's making 30 per minute so this one and this one are on par this is making 30 per minute this is making 30 per minute there's not going to be a hold up nothing you can see this guy's already backed up so that's going to cause this to back up which is going to cause this to fill up and once this hits 100 this is going to stop and once this hits 100 this one's going to stop so you can see where uh, efficiency comes in and there's like there's all kinds of crazy contraptions like crazy stuff that helps with it and it, it gets super fun and in-depth if you want to be super efficient if you don't want to and you just want like you know a basic line like this line runs this cool go for it you can, you can do what you want but there are things that you know you can make it run a little bit faster if you want to with that being said uh we're gonna have to leave it for now because we don't have splitters we if we could get conveyor splitters there are some things some fun stuff we could do up upgrade five yeah we're not gonna get that yet and i can't even look at these to be honest so we're gonna go ahead and select that milestone but i need some concrete being made i need some copper stuff being made so we're gonna need uh we need some more smelters now what's our power limit now so I have to keep in mind on this because we can't just go crazy. We only have so much power available to us right now. So we can go up to 40. We're currently using 26. So I could make one copper line. And there's a couple ways we could do this. We could bring the copper to us, run a conveyor line all the way down here, which actually isn't that bad. <laughs> I know it sounds it's like, what? You want to run a conveyor line all the way across here? Guess what? Later in game, you'll be running conveyor lines across the map. <laughs> it's just the thing it happens so we could do that with the copper the limestone super easy limestone's nearby so let's go ahead let's get some things going i have to be careful with the power though because we don't have we don't have a lot of power yet so let's see we need to go ahead we need to get the stuff to make we got to run power all the way over there and we need to make a miner we need to make conveyors we need to make a whole bunch of fun stuff all right let's get going let's stop talking about it. let's make it happen all right uh what's gonna be the first thing what should we do should we start from this side and work our way back? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get ourselves production. I want a smelter. Do I have the stuff? I have the stuff for a smelter. You know what? Let's actually run it on this side. We'll, we'll just not have them all right next to each other. We'll just run this guy like that. That'll work. That'll work for our copper. That'll be good. And then I think what we're going to do is we're probably going to end up running our conveyor line over this way. So I'm going to run a conveyor line and I'm going to run it actually up higher. So it kind of goes over this. That way it's not like on the ground the whole way because eventually we're gonna get vehicles and we're gonna need to build stuff and like drive stuff and go through stuff you know so let's get that going let's go grab some plates and some rods and oh i'm probably gonna need a bunch of concrete too you know what? i think we're gonna get some concrete going first just because it doesn't require a smelter we have a concrete thing right there we can make it happen super easy let's do that I believe all we need is actually a constructor for that bad boy but we also got to get some screws being made we've got to get like we've got to get a whole bunch of stuff being made here uh, 90 I'll take those I'll take those we'll make some screws we gotta make some reinforced uh plate deals all right so let's get that constructor we're gonna build this guy like right here because it's where's this grid at oh it's right here okay uh sure we'll, <laughs> we'll place it right there that works looks good I guess I could just build another I'll just build another small miner for now then we'll go ahead and place this miner right here on this guy like a cell and then we need to get some power ran over here too uh missing concrete no darn it that's the whole reason i built this one i built this one specifically to get concrete darn it okay uh you know what i'm just gonna build another miner i'm gonna just drop it on uh, one of the other ones for now the little portable guys all right so we'll just drop you down right there little dude you're gonna get me some concrete you're gonna get me some limestone and that's gonna let's make some concrete oh goodness it's slow holy slowness unless it's gonna speed up now that it's actually drilling oh yeah it's, it's not too bad i mean it's not the fastest thing in the world but it's not super bad either okay cool so you do that we're gonna kind of wait for that guy to do its thing so we can get this other thing set up because we need concrete 
and concrete can be made in that thing so mm. all right so we got a little bit of concrete here let's see i'm gonna have to connect to of course that one is already full let's see let's do this we're gonna make a little uh we'll make a little junction right here and then i'm gonna disconnect and disconnect you off of there yeah i know everything's shut down it's fine not a big deal and then we'll connect that like that and then we can run this guy way over here oh power line Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're just gonna run it like this for now. Actually, we're just gonna put it right here. In between. Power that guy. Power that guy. Wonderful. And then I need a boatload of these. You know what? I'll just run straight there. <laughs> Call it a day. All right. And then I need you making concrete. And then we need a storage. Do I have stuff for storage? I don't. I do. <gasps> that looks like a fantastic place for storage. Grab this into there. And we should be seeing some. Wait, what? What are you doing? What's going on here, man? No power. What? No power. Oh, is everything shut down still? Darn it. I have to reconnect the, uh, I have to, I have to flip the breaker. Wait, can you flip the breaker through these? Oh yeah. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Okay, cool. Everything's good. That should be making that. Wonderful. Wonderful. Let's see. Everything else is looking good. See, these are getting backed up now because these are like not producing fast enough. All that fun stuff. Actually, this one should be like a one for one because this is doing, nope, 30 per minute, not 60. So it's running half speed oh yeah we need some splitters and stuff you know what we could actually do to fix this might as well actually let's deconstruct that and that and this we're actually gonna put a storage right here we're gonna put storage in between these and that'll act kind of like a uh, like a buffer deal now how do i want to put them i think like this yeah i'll put one there and then one right there that'll work and then that way we don't have to worry about that and then once later we actually get splitters and stuff we'll have a whole bunch of uh raw resources in here and we can get more uh, more smeltage going on perfect good you guys happy now i bet they're happy i bet they're so happy gonna fill up very nicely wonderful wonderful all right now another thing another bottleneck of this game of this specifically is if you go into your logistics this conveyor belt transports resources at a rate up to 60 per minute so if you want to try removing things faster than 60 per minute guess what you're going to have a belt upgrade and we don't have those yet either but that's all right now I could do the same thing right here. And that's what I was, I was kind of thinking that is probably what we should have done, but uh, you know, beginning stages, it doesn't matter. We can, we can deconstruct our entire little factory setup and rebuild it super quick anyways at this point. So not really worried. How much concrete do we have? Nine, that's not a lot. <laughs> 45, ooh, 45 per minute. We should be good. Is this 60 or is this 30? <gasps> no, this one's 30, okay. So also depending on the resource type, so this one's impure, depends on how much you get per minute. Those ones are pure over there, that's why we're getting 60. This one's impure, so we're only getting 30. So this one actually can't even keep up with this machine, but that's all right, that's fine with us. Now, we gotta get the copper stuff set up. So I'm gonna try running a line. I'm gonna try running a conveyor belt over here, up here, and across that way, and then we're gonna drop a miner over there. Oh gosh, we're about to be under attack. Horrible, terrible, awful disaster. We're fine. Because we have a stick. We have a, we have a, a electric sticky poke. Oh, no, he's going to leave me. No, you know what? No, you scared me, man. Guess what? In your butt. Bad. Bad. Oh, check out that sweet punch that we did. Oh, you're not going to get me, man. You can run in circles all you want. Hi-ya! <laughs> get wrecked, son. Ow! No, there's another one. Stupid. Stupid stupid there we go okay we got them both don't worry we survived let's see okay so i need to put a conveyor pole we're gonna put one like right uh actually hold on before we do this let me do a quick scan uh for copper so i can get an idea where it's actually at okay so it is actually like right here so that'll be fine we'll put this guy like this and we'll go ahead and shoot that guy way up like that and i think that should work all right, so let's get this guy connected to here. And then we'll run up there. Luckily, you can just take this guy out as far as you want, as long as you don't hit anything else. So I can run around and go all the way up there and then get this thing to connect. Look at that giant flying bird. It's a giant flying moth. Stingray thing. I don't know. <laughs> we'll get up close to personal with it later. All right, so we'll put this one right there. See, now it says the conveyor belt is too steep. All right, so we'll wait for that guy. Oh, you know what? I don't even have the stuff to build another miner. Darn it! I miss. Oh no! No no no! We're good. We're good. Cause I have these guys right here. Not you. Oh, pick up that guy. Pick up that. Oh darn it! I can't pick it up because I don't. I mean room. You like my stone statue that I just made? 
<laughs> I dropped all the resources because they're all raw resources now and we're not going to do a lot with raw resources by hand anymore. So there's really no reason for me to have them. You know, so I'll just go ahead and just drop all these out like that. Boom. Look at that beautiful little look at these little stacks. Don't they look so nice? They do look so nice. All right. So let's get this guy aimed that way and then let's get you connected up to this guy. Look at that clips through the ground. It's completely fine. And then once we get power over here, we will be good. Darn it, I'm out of copper wire. Mm, okay, let's go back. And now we can look at, we can go on the conveyor belt over here. It's so, so nice. You don't even have to move. You can just stand here. And the conveyor belt takes, well, I mean, your feet look like they're moving, but it's because the conveyor belt's moving. And we'll throw a power pole there. I don't think we can connect. Oh, we run it like that. Perfect. And then no way. No way can I connect it way over there. <laughs> I had to try. Oh, no, we're good. Yep. Take fall damage. Wonderful. Let's see. Where should we hook this bad boy up to? Do you have another spot on you? Oh, you do. <gasps> Can't afford encroaching. What? Oh, it's because. Okay. Can't. What? Encroaching another was clearance. What clearance are you encroaching upon? <gasps> oh, shoot. It's on the wrong side of the. Uh, all right, let's take this guy out. It's on the wrong side of the conveyor belt because it, it's like encroaching on that. All right, so we'll just do that. And then we'll connect you to right there. And then you, actually, we'll just connect right there. Cool. Uh, Everything's red. Oh no, we, we ran out of power. Something ran out of fuel. Which one of you guys ran out of fuel? Uh, Nope, that one's still good. Oh, this one. There she be. All right, let's go grab some more biofuel or bio leaves or whatever. Biomass. Here you go. There's one for you. And there's a stack for you. We're going to flip the breaker. Hopefully we don't have too much power. Okay, perfect. I think we'll be all right. So that guy should fire. Why are these not firing up? Why are these not firing? Did I not connect? I didn't connect that. Did I not connect that pole? Missing. Okay, no, I'm missing. I'm missing one cable. Are you serious? Oh, all right. Let's try this again. I was missing one single cable. Okay, come on. Ready? There. There. Oh, look at that. Now it's online. This guy's not going because, well, uh, actually, I don't think I selected copper. Oh, it's not even powered yet. We're going to have to have another power pole. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's get you connected up to right here and then connect you to there. Oh, <gasps> did that kill it? No. Are we, are we seriously like right at the power limit? Oh no, we are at the power limit. Oh, this is terrible. What do I need for upgrades? We might have to turn some stuff off for a little bit. Start it. Let's see. Turn you off. We'll turn these two smelters off for now. Let's start. It should be good now. Okay. Oh, man. We need more power. All right. So that should work. And I actually need another constructor to make copper wire. Oh, man. We're just going to put a constructor like right here. All right. So that guy's there. Go ahead and connect that up. And then we'll configure this to wire. And then we have to connect power to it, though. <laughs> oh, hopefully we're good. I think we should be okay, maybe. Maybe we'll be good. All right, so let's see. Uh, organization, we're gonna need another storage container. Uh, we'll just go ahead and put that right there. That works with me. There and there. All right, cool. Done, hooked up, good to go. Basically, we just kind of need to wait for uh, for this stuff to come through. That'll make copper, that'll make copper wire. The copper wire will go into there. Now, like I said, I would like to automate everything in this process, but we don't have enough power for everything yet. Unfortunately, we don't have a way to do it. We can't, I don't think we can, we can't make anymore no we can't i think that's the next thing is that the next is that in our in our upgrades deal yeah biomass burners okay cool so we will be able to make more but uh we can't quite yet but we just all we need is 150 150 530 actually you know what we're probably super close to that minus the wire okay we're not super close to that <laughs> i thought we would be a lot closer to that than we are and I have these smelters turned off currently. So we're good on the rods. We need more plates, copper wire, and concrete. Concrete, we actually... Oh yeah, we're good on concrete too. So we'll go ahead and throw that in there. We need copper wire and plates. Okay, so what would happen if I turned... What would happen if I turned this one on? How close are we on power right now? Oh, I think we're... We might be okay. We're on that guy. How are we now? Are we riding that line? No, see, we're not, we're not too bad. But then again, I don't think... Why are you not turned on already? Oh, I didn't have it selected. My goodness. 
Uh, how are we now? Oh, no, darn it. Stupid thing. Stupid, stupid thing. Uh, how much is these? Oh, let's turn these off. That'll be easy fix for now. I'll turn that one off. That one's backed up. How's this one? Oh, yeah. These, we're good. Okay, we'll turn these off. That'll work. And then we should be able to turn these guys right back on. Whoop. Okay, I think we're good. We're making everything we need to make. Yeah, we're making everything we need to make. So we'll just let this sit for a little bit and we will go get some, uh, we'll get some other stuff done. I probably should go collect some, I should go collect some biomass. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Ooh, shiny. I like these things. Hello there. I think if you just stare at it, I think it talks to us. Yep. Oh, it wants me to pick it up. Work in progress. Oh, it's so... <laughs> Anyways, okay, let's pick it up. Oh, wow. Collecting. And we collected it. Okay. Uh, anyways. Object emits gravitational radiation. Yeah. Initial scans reveal an inner vein like structure filled with liquid gallium. Purpose and origin. Oh. Unknown. Further analysis required to determine application. Awesome. Uh, so I'm over here collecting a whole bunch of stuff now. This is a good little area if you have like trees and stuff because there's these pieces and you can actually pick up the wood and the wood turns into uh, has a higher conversion rate to the biofuel than just regular leaves. It's a lizard doggo. Lizard doggo. I here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I, ah, uh, how do I drop one? I can't remember how to drop one. Maybe I just have to go in here and drop it. Oh, little lizard doggo. Look it. We're going to have our first little lizard doggo friend. Here you go, man. <gasps> yeah, he's our best friend now. Look at how cute he is. Lizard doggo, do you have anything? Nope. Okay. Don't run off, please. Uh oh. Okay, don't run off, please. Last time I tamed a lizard doggo, <laughs> it disappeared. And uh, typically what happens when they disappear, they follow you around. And if you go like venturing off, there's like a lot of cliffs and things that like end up to like the abyss of the planet. And I think they like to go there and never come back. So <laughs> just be careful with them. Uh, stupid, stupid plant. Leave that plant alone. All right, so how, uh oh. Oh no, we're stuck. Oh no, this is the worst thing. Oh, I got out. Okay, okay, I made it out. I don't know how, but I made it out. <laughs> so you gotta be careful around the trees. Sometimes you do get stuck. It happens, it's the thing. It's not fun, but it happens. All right, so let's grab all of these. I think we're probably good. Let's see. So yeah, I got one, two, three, 300 wood, a bunch of leaves. That'll be a good amount for us. And our, our stuff's probably getting pretty close to being good. What's up, little dude? Oh, he's so cute. We love him. Okay. Let's go back to our base. Let's do a little bit of conversion real quick. So yeah, you can see biomass leaves 720. It gives you six for every 10. This gives you 25 for every five. So it has a higher conversion rate. Uh, not as easy to find, but you get, I mean, you get a lot more out of it. So it's good, it's good stuff. And let's see, how are, how are our burners doing? They could use a little topping off here. How are you? A little topping off again. Wonderful, wonderful. I actually don't even have enough inventory space to finish making all of the biomass. You can see I make a thousand right here just from the wood by itself and inventory is full again wonderful okay that's a good problem to have now let's see do we have enough of everything else yet to do an upgrade uh there's another hundred and we'll be close yeah we should be good on that rods are already good uh the only thing left is gonna be copper wire uh we got 378 oh we're close oh we're so close okay just a little bit longer let's go ahead and just deposit everything get those in there and get that in there oh no it was good Let's upgrade. Ready to upgrade? Upgrade! <gasps> yeah! We did it. Oh, did we get the thing? We got the thing! You have unlocked pup feature, molecular analysis machine, yes! also known as the MAM. We got the MAM. And then we got this guy. Equipment, so we can start filling other stuff. <gasps> additional hand equipment yes! All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's analyze some things, shall we? In every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Oh, look at that. They thank us for our service. Okay. So now that we have that, we should be able to access these milestones now. All right. Uh, select milestone. Cool. Skip that. So we have tier one and tier two. We have, you could do, we could do utility. We could do logistics. We're going to do logistics first because guess what? Conveyor splitter, conveyor merger, conveyor lift. Absolutely. We need that. Personal storage, all these wonderful things. Tier two, part assembly. We get an assembler. Ooh, there's the chainsaw. Jump pad, walkways. Was there a power thing yet? 
I don't think so. I think it's under, yeah, I think it's under, it's under one of these, but um, we're gonna definitely do logistics first because I want the splitters and mergers. And uh, hmm, yeah, we got a whole bunch of other goodies too. But uh, let's see, I think everything's looking pretty good. Alrighty guys, I think that's actually gonna end our episode. We're gonna end it here. Now, uh, chances are there might be an update within the next episode. So we might, you know, we're probably gonna have to do a little bit of rebuilding and stuff like that. But um, yes, thank you guys for coming out. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day and or fantastic weekend. And um, yeah, if you guys are interested in the game, we got links down below. Thank you guys for all the support. Hopefully you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.